Hey everybody, Aaron Cowan, Sage Dynamics. In this week's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Sage Dynamics Advanced Vehicle Self-Defense Class. Where's that bullet? Hit the left middle. Hmm? The left side target, I thought. Oh, it's super low. Left side target. Round, the more likely it is to not hit the target at all. If you're shooting a 12 gauge or a 5.56 through this back window, and your caliber Barnes Expander slugs out of a 12 gauge moving at 1,450 feet per second, and they never left the cabin of the vehicle. They went through this back window and lodged in the dash. What you see is it causes enough deviation on that first round that it just leaves it in the car. It'll stop working, right? Um, so we've got cover, and we've got concealment, and then we have deflection. Wheel wells, those rims, those axles. We got the front, we got the engine block, anything else? Every vehicle is going to deflect windshield fire differently, guys. Your POA, POI is going to be affected by round choice and windshield angle. Important thing to remember is to not search out clean glass for each shot. Accept the marginal loss and visibility with that first round. And as long as you can still see your threat, keep punching the spot to open up a clean line of fire. If the threat moves, track them and repeat. This is not good. This is why I don't like cars. I don't even fit in them right. Burn them! Ding. Ding. Be prepared to work to the rear of the vehicle. Remember, the main reason for getting in this fight is that the vehicle can't readily be moved for whatever reason. Get rounds on the bad guy and get mobile. Use that body cover. Put it between you and them. Work the angles and don't be location predictable. <laughs> nice, good job. Multiple threats are less likely, but they are possible. The driver's side door is an ideal point of approach for them. Decide and decide fast who is the larger threat. Exit the vehicle, win or if it makes sense. Make an effort to stack your threats and do fucking work as long as work needs to be done. Nice. Good run. Yep, I'm the one now. Yep, right here, right here. Threat! Hold on. Now I'm ready. Threat! Risk versus reward, guys. You can, can sacrifice a degree of cover provided by the body to maximize hits on your threat. There's no always or never. Every situation is going to be unique in a lot of ways. I can make this real, real life as I want, so it's up to you to factor the likely and work your angles. When it's time to be violent, be as violent as you can until Drop the gun! I'll do a video for you today. Trying to use vehicle. Shoot already?
Huh? Honey, stay down. <laughs> Real world doesn't have a berm. Bad guys move, and I'm sure you've seen videos from actual shootings when some people fled and others just stood around and watched or made some half-assed attempt to watch from a safe place. Fire discipline. Make a strong effort to look deep and clear your threat's backdrop. If you're going to make a mistake, let's do it here. And when you make it, integrity check, guys. Think long and hard about it. Own it. And make every effort not to repeat it. fight may start near or around the car. A walk-up approach as you're getting in or out, a road rage case that follows you home or into a parking lot. Be ready to work cover or get the car between you and them. Back off. Man, I'll cut you, motherfucker. No, you're not gonna. I'm gonna fucking stab you. Hey, man, I remember you from the Macy's hey, relax, bathroom. Relax, relax, yeah. Relax. yeah, I remember you. You were because of Red Ray. Hey, 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 you treat him bad. I'm gonna stab you for that, Back up. Get it up! Let's pick. That's yeah, There you go. Fuck you. Hey, mate! Hey! 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 Oh, you fucking what, mate? I got a fucking blade. I'm gonna fucking cut ya. You gonna give me a fucking whack, motherfucker? Get off there! Back off! I surrender, sir. Get a couple dollars for me, right, man? Come on, dude. Hey, look, man. Back the fuck up, It's okay. Look, bro. Back the fuck up! Hey! Hey! Fuck you! I'm gonna stab your ass, motherfucker. Fucking hey, what? Give me a fucking what? Hey, it, back up, it, back up. Knife, back knife, up. knife, 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 knife. Go, 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 Hell yeah. Someone Someone back up. Go. Make sure he's down. Make sure he's down. Good. Now we can. Yeah, look at. I'm just. I'm trying to get my. Uh, my butt. Oh, calm down, dude. Look at my buddy and I. We just gun in the back. Gun in the back. Hey, see my buddy back there? Yeah. Yeah, give me your fucking money, dude. Hey, get gun, yeah. gun, gun, gun. Yeah. Hey, hey, you got my Makes sense. The car is now cover. Concealment or deflection. Run each drill like the car still has its glass and take those glass and body ballistics we covered on day one to heart. You saw what rounds do. You know where the safest places to fight from are. If there's better cover nearby and you can get there, fucking get there. Stack your threats if you can, but what I really want to see is you run in the gun as fast as you can accurately shoot. Get good incapacitating hits and get them fast. Own your mistakes if you make them. Do it right or do it again. Burn them.
Nice cover. cover. Work through what you can see. What you can see. If you aren't alone, you have to worry about protecting your passenger or passenger. They don't have the means to do it themselves. Forward, driver's side, or passenger side changes how and when you can move. Get them to the best cover. If the threat is on the driver's side, you have a choice to make. Exit the door closest to the threat, driver's side, or pull out through the passenger side. Advantages and disadvantages to both. I don't like exiting on threat side because if he goes down or goes to cover on the first rounds out, I may be exiting without knowing exactly where he is and put myself real close to where he might be. Going out the passenger side means I seriously disrupt my shooting ability as long as I work through the cabin. Let's try it both ways so we know the advantages and disadvantages of both. Maintain physical contact if you have to. Guide your protectee to safety, put them in good cover, and get violent. Remember, just because you know where the best cover is on the car doesn't mean they do. Alright, come on, let's go. If your passenger is armed, your life is a little easier. Less worry about protecting, but more concern about making sure you work as a team. Get communication on your mind. Be specific and brief. Have at least one gun up at all times and give your threat or threats more than one place to worry about.
the short stop. Cops get short stopped by suspects in car chases or during a stop. Citizens can be cut off at a light or in the middle of a street in a road rage situation. You now have a lot to worry about and a lot of things that need to take place quickly. If you can't turn off or drive out, angle your cover, clear your belt, lock the drive down, and get in the fight. If you hit the threat car, be ready for clearing that airbag. Get eyes on the threat, be prepared for injuries, and work through them. Remember that all those advantages of cover and deflection spots on the vehicle body work both ways. Your threat may or may not know that, but you can't count on either assumption. Deal with the situation that presents and incapacitate them with extreme motivation. Get your passengers to safety. Those of you with small kids, keep the fight away from the cabin until you can get them to safety. Get it out! Let's go! Get back! Of fucking room on that goddamn like, thing with like two people. Scoot the fuck over. Right, like, come Who on. Who does that? Bitch, scoot over. Yeah. I don't want to die. I, I, don't, I don't get it. It's like, why don't you scoot over and stop being a selfish bitch? Right? Yeah. And then on top of that, like, oh, God, God, God. Going to Grandma's house? Oh, dude, I love cookies. Oh, I'm so excited for Grandma's chocolate cookies. She puts like the, the little bit of margarine in it. 